How's it going guys? Welcome back to Brick Science. My name is Riley. I'm your host. Today we're going to be looking at the Lego pieces that trigger me and why. When you're building Lego and you do something or something happens with the pieces you have and it just triggers you and you're just like, ah, oh, no, that's not, I didn't want to do that. I hate it when this happens, you know? Do you ever just have that moment? And you're just like, man, it happened again. So, let's do it. The first thing I want to show you is we have this. This is like a little, a little contraption here. As you can see, it's got two gears in the middle and it's got a couple, couple little axle holders, I want to say, but the axle's too long. So what would you do in this situation? Because you have all these gears on here and maybe this is covered up, maybe you just want to like slide new axle in. You take your shorter axle and you try to put it in. So you push this one a little bit. Oh, now that little yellow thing's out of place. So you push this one in and you're just trying to, there we go. You got to hold this one on, of course. And then you got to, you got to, but then you got to switch the gear over and you, oh, now it broke off. Oh, now it's through a different hole. Okay. So you got to do that again. So you push it back through. Do I even need to say anymore? This is just so annoying. I hate it. Oh! The next thing is when you have a bunch of wedge plates. You have a bunch and you're looking for two types of wedge plates because if you want your builds to be symmetrical, which I'm suspecting you do, you want a bunch of wedge plates. So you got a bunch of these and you're like, what? And you can't find any more of the right wedge plates. It's like, what the heck? This happens to me all the time because I have a bunch of random wedge plates. So I organize them by side. So I have left side wedge plates, right side wedge plates. And all of a sudden I have 30 of these and only one of these. It, it makes zero sense. Gah. The next thing that triggers me so much is when you have a piece and this is just a nice tan, right? It's just a beautiful tan castle piece, but it's not tan, it's white. It's burned by the sun. It's, it's like an, an off yellow. It's like, <gasps> and so many pieces that are old will do this. So you gotta soak them in hydrogen peroxide. It's just so frustrating when you wanna reach for a white piece and all you see is tan. It's like, it's so annoying. Another thing, and I just saw this the other day, is when you have a reddish brown piece, right? You have a reddish brown plate. And this one, as you can see, it's not, it's not fragile. It doesn't break easy. This is a good batch. So apparently Lego made a bad batch or something of reddish brown plates. And so a bunch of them went out, like this one. These are so brittle. Like these are so brittle, you just snap them. I actually assembled Stormbreaker out of some of these and all of a sudden it just broke in half. <laughs> like multiple times while I was filming. It was because these things are so brittle and you can't snap this, it's just these. It's crazy, these things are like, so that's another thing, and so many LEGO builders are dealing with this right here. It's like so frustrating, so frustrating. So there's that. I'm not gonna throw these over there because I'll step on them later. <laughs> I think this is my number one hate in building with LEGOs. My number one thing that just triggers me the most. You're going through a pile of bricks, like let's say red, red bricks, right? You got your bin of red bricks. You're going through it and you see a piece. Maybe it's a two by two. You pick up the two by two from the bottom, like you would do because it's always flipped over. You pick it up and it's a mega block and all these are mega blocks and it's just so frustrating. I literally hate mega blocks. I can't use them in the builds because they're a different color and otherwise it wouldn't be Lego, right? So you have all these useless mega blocks and mega blocks are just the worst. Like, where's my sledgehammer? These things suck. I just wanna let you guys know, I'm not really angry right now. It's just, it's literally triggering me right now. That's how bad. The next one is a little strange, all right? It's honestly, this has happened so many times and just by randomness. Like if you have a bunch of pieces in a Lego bin, this might just happen just because of a random, random chance. So you have two pieces, right? And you're like, ah, I can stack these. Try and stack it and it just doesn't, it doesn't go. It doesn't stack, it's crazy. And you flip it over and you realize there's a cheese slope. There's a cheese slope in this and you can't get it out. Like, how do you get this out? You get your brick separator and you pick this out. You, you're like, you try and, and you're like, oh, okay, maybe a needle, maybe a thumbtack. This thing is so frustrating. And you can't stack this ever on that stud. Like, seriously, it doesn't stack. <sighs> Sorry, just a little triggered, a little bit. I hope, I hope this isn't triggering you guys too much at home. The next one is when you have a two by two slope or just a slope, you know, this is like 30 degrees or something. I don't know, put it up there. It's this many degrees. And then you're like, there's this ugly thing on top and I just want like a triangle block. So you get a cheese slope and the angle doesn't match. It's like so frustrating. Like you see this, the angle is different on the cheese slope than it is on the two by two slope. Like, why? 
Can we not just make some cheese slopes that are just a little, just this angle instead of this angle? It's like, boom, so frustrating. The next thing is you have, you have an idea, right? You want to build like a brick wall that hinges. So you're like, oh, I'll just use like, I'll just use the brick, the brick hinges. So you got the brick clip, you got the brick bar. And you put these together and you're like, oh, these will hinge just fine. You put them together, you put it in your build and then you try to hinge it and it, it doesn't hinge. It doesn't hinge because there's this little bar that attaches to this. They couldn't have made the bar on top or the bar on the bottom so that you could at least hinge these. You have to go up a plate and then they'll hinge, but you can't hinge them in the middle. And I've made this mistake so many times. I'm like, when you're thinking through a building process and you pick these up and you're just like, oh, no, that won't work. <laughs> so frustrating. It's like, seriously, this triggers me every time. I have two places for these in my collection. One of them's in the random brick bin. The other one is in the mystery box because I never want to pull that out. And on the subject of things in the random bin, have you ever just had like Lego glass pieces, right? You put it in your random bin, you take it out, and it's all scratched. It's like so frustrating because you just want, you want a nice glass front or like maybe you're building a building. So you pull out your glass piece. You're just like, oh, this is nice. And so you put it on and it's so scratched. Like, I don't know if you guys can see how scratched this is, but when it reflects the light, it's so annoying. Like Lego just scratches too easily. And even with the bricks, they get all scratched up. Anyway, I guess that's just sort of how Lego building is. But there, that's another one. And the last, but certainly not least, I'm sure you've all experienced this when building with Lego, when sorting your collection is dirty pieces, <laughs> okay? And I don't mean like piece with like peanut butter on it or like dirt. Like these pieces are ingrained. These pieces are engraved with like, the scratches are filled with dirt and bacteria. So it just turns brown and you can't use this because it looks disgusting. And I haven't found a suitable way of cleaning it. <sighs> Let's take a deep breath. All right, if this video triggered you, go ahead and watch another that's maybe not so triggering. I haven't done a video like this before, but these are a bunch of things about Lego that trigger me. However, I'm not trashing Lego. This is just how it goes when you're building. I love Legos. I just, some of these things just drive me crazy when I'm trying to build something. So anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching. Go ahead and comment down below what triggers you about building with Legos. Maybe like stepping on one or like, I don't know, trying to take Technic pins out of a lift arm. Actually, I should have added that. I'll talk to you in the next Brick Science.